by World News. Two, maybe our favorite story of the day. It's the one that we mentioned at the top of the show. Cue the music. What looks to be a case of real life X Files, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. We're learning this morning about a Pentagon program that spent millions of dollars to look into UFO sightings, and ESPN's Tony Reale is so excited he's fidgeting yep. in his seat. Yeah, you bring in the sports guy for this. You know, I'm I'm all over this story. I told you, not just the X Files, the X Y Z Files. That's what you get with me. They're unidentified. They're flying. And they're objects. And the fact that a secret department in the Pentagon thought they were worth millions of dollars of investigation has many wondering if the truth is out there. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh. An unidentified flying object. Oh, that thing, dude. Spotted by two Navy fighter pilots flying high above the clouds. There's a lunar thing. It's rotating. These newly released videos from the Department of Defense, published by the New York Times and Washington Post, part of a once secret government program to investigate sightings of so called anomalous aerial vehicles in the skies. It sounds like a plot out of the X Files. The truth is out there. Or something the men in black would zap from your memory. Flash of light you saw in the sky was not a UFO. But according to reports in the Washington Post and New York Times, the Department of Defense has spent at least $22 million since 2007 looking into UFO sightings. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid, who helped secure the funding for the program, telling the New York Times, I think it's one of the good things I did in my congressional service. I've done something that no one has done before. And now the Pentagon officially acknowledging its advanced aviation threat identification program for the first time. Telling ABC News they ended the program in 2012 in favor of other higher priority issues that merited funding, but that the DOD takes seriously all threats and potential threats to our people, our assets, and our mission, and takes action whenever credible information is developed. The Pentagon ended funding, but the New York Times reports the program remains in existence and has continued to investigate episodes brought to them by service members, which leads me to ask this question. And you know there's no film and cameras anymore, I mean, so don't worry about anybody watching. Do you believe in UFOs, Dan? I mean, there are definitely unidentified flying objects. Whether there are aliens inside them, Quite I don't astute. know. Quite astute. Thank you. Paula? I believe that there um, are other beings, but I'm not sure we actually, I, that I believe in aliens. Ron? Wait, wait, wait. You really think there's other beans. beings, but you don't believe like, aliens? Is it like, I think she like, said like, beans, actually. Oh, beans. Like, beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but beans. like, not necessarily aliens, but maybe like, you know, microscopic organisms and that sort of thing. But I'm not sure about an alien. I just want to know more at this point. That's what I want to know, too. I this think is the DOD we're talking about. Going on in the galaxy Look, there are aliens, and we'll have them on the set <laughs> next weekend. <laughs> Let me just say, if there are I aliens, we'll lead the show with that.